am curious, like, can we maybe, maybe in a specific way, like in a specific example, like if we want to set a boundary as friends, like how would you approach that? Like, what is a signal for you that I have a friend, his name is Ali and I need to set boundaries with him. What are the signals that you see and how do you come up with ideas of how to set boundaries and how do you share that with Ali or the rest of the friends that you may have that may, imp may be impacted in that relationship? Yeah. With the boundary piece, I think at least for me, it's usually my body telling me that I need to set boundaries with this person. So you, for example, maybe get a text and you notice it doesn't sit well with you. Like something just feels like this is feels hard or it doesn't feel easy. It feels like, or it's like, do you want to go to the movies? Do you want to do this? And it's like, this is the friend. If I don't go to this movie with them and I've canceled on the last two planes, they're going to be really upset, but I'm just so tired and I want to stay home. Right? Like, but then you feel this guilt. It's usually surrounded. If you notice you have feelings for, about guilt or shame or this feeling that is just it doesn't sit, it's just not sitting well. And that's usually an indication that I need to set a boundary with someone. And if it's not like guilt or shame, maybe it's the sense of judgment from that person in a way that's negative. And so usually that's the indication I get that I'm like, okay, I need to set a boundary. And how I set a boundary is going to be different per individual, right? But a good way to approach is if it's about going to the movies, I would just say, hey, I don't feel up for it. I'm going to stay home tonight. You, the biggest thing I can tell the audience here is you don't need to explain yourself. You don't need to explain yourself. We are so good at like, I, calling in like, I'm sick because I have X, Y, Z, da, 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 da. No, you don't need to do that. You just are simple and just like, I don't want to go to the movies. I'm not feeling up for it. Leave it at that. And so less is sometimes more in those situations and see how they respond from there. If they are continue to poke the bear back and it's, I can tell they're upset. I would say something of the nature of just, I'm not feeling up for it. Let's plan something soon. And I would love to see you. And so it's still showing that you care and value the relationship, but just setting the boundary. You're not feeling up for it. And those who continue to push back, that is where I would say is that this person is making me uncomfortable at this point. They're not getting the boundary. And that's where I would maybe tone it back on the relationship. You don't necessarily need to, it depends on the dynamic. If it's a close friend or if it's more of an acquaintance, how you would want to move through that. Because you could either, you know, get to the point where maybe you you slowly weed this person out. You don't really hang out with them at the same level you once did. Or if it is someone you're close to and you feel like you need to have that conversation, then you can have a very direct conversation. We don't need to be around the bush. And as people pleasers, we love to beat around the bush. We want to make sure we're pleasing everyone. But we don't need to do that. Thank you for walking us through that example. 